hello everyone welcome again to another video so today i want us to learn something different these pouches they are super simple and easy to make okay you can call them drawstring bag gift bag or whatever you want to call it portly bag it will teach you how to make one yourself so here is my main fabric i cut out my main fabric and this is the height of it 10 inches long this is 10 inches that I measured and here's the width 19 inches so here's the right side of my fabric I'm going to put my lining on it here is the lining that I have it's the right side I'm going to face right to right together right side and the, this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is my right side I'm putting two right side together and lining them together so this also measured in 19 so here the height is 8 inches with my lining the height 18, 8 inches and this is 19 the width is 19 inches so we are going to sew I'm just pinning this down and we are going to sew I'm going to go ahead and sew this and I'll meet you back here. Okay, now that we're done sewing, we sew straight down like this. Now I want, I'm going to hold the lining I'm going to only the lining, then I'm going to pull it down like this. We pull it down to the level of the main fabric. That's what we are doing over here. This is the main fabric over here. So I pull the lining down to the level of the main fabric all together. I'm going to pin it right here. Pin, pin, pin. super easy okay very very simple very simple to do now what I'm going to do we are going to sew the side and sew the side again so this is what I'm going to sew I'm not going to sew down here I'm just going to sew only the side only the side that I'm going to sew and I'll meet you right back here okay I'm just taking down the piece from the fabric after I'm done sewing it and I'm going to, what we are going to do now, here is the top and the side are sewn. So we are going to turn it inside out. I'm going to turn this. So I'm going to turn this inside out. If you have something to stick in the corners to help you pull it out, please use it. I'm just using my scissors over here to pull my corners out. And this is what we have. So we are going to have something like this. Okay, we are going to have something like this. This is the back view so this is our back and this is the front view okay and now what I'm going to do I'm going to measure half inch on it from here to here half inch so I'm just measuring half inch on it and I'm going to draw okay this is one inch over here and this is half right here so I mark half inch on it but if you if you can sew with free hand like your lines will be straight you don't have to do this just eyeball and then sew but I'm drawing line the line guides me to to sew straight line so I'm going to sew on this sew straight on it so I'm going to sew and meet you right back here Okay, first line is down this is the line that we so I sewed on and I'm going to mark another half inches down this is the first line I'm going to mark again another half inches from the first one so mark half inch I'm just marking half inch over there from the first line that we just sewed 
and we are going to sew that again too. That that's going to make two lines over here the fabric. So now that is done, and that we are done with the sewing, the first and the second line. So in between here, that is where we are going to pull our ribbon through or string, whatever you want to pull through the string, that's where we are going to pull it through. Now what we are going to do, we are going to sew down here, sew straight down like this, we're going to sew to the end. So now what we are going to do, now the sewing is done, I sewed it already, let's put this together, we are going to turn it like this, pull it together, make sure everything is aligned very well. I put pin on the two lines over here, the middle, we are going to sew up to here and sew from here to the down, that's what we are going to do. So my sewing is done, I've sewn here already, the edge already. Okay, let me turn it inside out so we see what we are doing. So we can take a look at it. Let's peek through. This is how the patch is starting to look like. Okay, now what we have to do is to close the, the bottom of it. So this is where we are going to pull our string or your ribbon. Now we are just going to continue to seal the base, pull string through and pull and that will be it. So you can sew straight like this or you make a round base. If you like, you can sew straight like this and turn it inside out. You pull your string or ribbon through this hole over here, pull it through and you are done. But if you don't like to sew straight or you want the round bottom, let me show you what to do. So here I cut out a square 7 by 7 inches. This is 7 inches by 7 inches, like this. We are going to fold into 4 equal parts, fold it into 4, like this. Let me show you something. If you have the square like this, 7 by 7 inches, if you have a round object like this, something like this, very round, that can fit in the square like this, you can trace it out and cut out and cut and do your cutout. You can trace it out. Use pencil. Use pencil like this. Trace the round shape on your paper, and then cut, 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 and trace it on your fabric. So here, but if you don't want to do that, you fold it into four, four equal parts like this. And I'm going to measure three inches. One, two, three to three inches. Okay measure three inches and mark it all all around i'm going to mark it three three inches here three inches here three inches here make sure it's all equal then i'm going to join the line that i mark i'm going to join them together and then cut it out cut 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 and that's how you get your round shape and this is what you are going to use to cut your your shape to cut your pattern from your fabric this is the base of the bag this is the base seven by seven i write it here you make a trace on your fabric leave like a quarter inch for sewing allowance so we are going to trace i'm going to leave it like a quarter inch for sewing allowance, I'm going to trace and do mine. So you to continue to do yours and I'll meet you right here. If you sew, just cut out some lines in it at the edges so you can fold it nice and neat like how I'm doing. So here is mine. This is what I've done. And I'm going to stick this one in it and so i'm just going to seal it that's it so what i'm doing i'm just pinning the base onto the pouch and we are going to pin pin round and then stitch it together and uh, stitch it on the pouch just going to pin it together like this 
pin, pin, pin. Make sure you line them very well. And pin round. That's all I'm doing over here. After this, you are just going to stitch it together. And that will be the end of it. Pin it round and stitch them together. Now that is done. This is how it's looking like. This is the base. This is the round base that you want. And this is how it's looking like. So now I, I don't have, I have a ribbon, but I don't have it right now. And I'm going to just use this line over here. I'm just going to use a cutout from the fabric. So I'm just going to use this. You can use a ribbon, any, anything that you like, your rope that you like to use for your fabric that you're using. So this is just a rope. I'm going to show you how to, this is the opening. So here's the opening that we left, okay? I'm going to use pin to remove two seam over here, two stitches. Or if you have a seam ripper, you can use it to rip out the seam enough for your pin to get in. So you can put, so you can, you can pull your ribbon through like what I'm doing over here. Whatever you choose to pull through, just open it a little bit and pull it through. This is very beautiful. This is super simple, super easy to make. Everybody can make this. This is very, very easy to make. Just cut out your fabric and line it and make it. If you don't have machine, use needle and thread. Done. Look at how beautiful it's looking like. Very, very beautiful. Very simple and easy to make. Now that you have the idea, we can pull some bead at the end, some bead, okay? I'm going to use two pearls. This is how it's looking like. Very, very beautiful. You can make it yourself. You can, if you, the base, if the base is not thick enough, you can cut out some card or you want to display your gift in it. Cut out some hard card and put in the base and then display your gift on it. And that's it. I'm going to embellish the end with two pearls. I'm going to stick this fabric into the pearls, the edges into it and pull. Like you're stringing bead on a line. This is the second one. I'm going to pull the fabric through and pull. Then at the end of it, I'm just going to tie like this. Hold it tight and tie. This is how it's looking like. We are done with our pouch. We are done with our drawstring bag. Very beautiful, very cute. This is simple and easy to make. You can make it yourself. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and also turn on your notification for any new videos that I'll be uploading. Please do share my videos. And I thank you for your time with me again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.